Good evening, everyone. If we are confident of the Lord's love for us and understand how he uses hardships in our lives, we will be able to trust him and respond in a way that benefit, benefits us. Adversity is one of God's most effective tools for strengthening our faith. If we focus on the ways he is working within us and enabling us to endure affliction, our trust in him will grow, even if our circumstances remain the same. God's purpose for allowing pain is to achieve something good, even though we might not know what it is. He may be trying to correct us or produce godly character in us. In the case of the Apostle Paul, God protected him from pride and taught him to depend on Christ. In 2 Corinthians chapter 12, starting at verse 7, it says, And lest I should be exalted above measure by the abundance of the revelations, a thorn in the flesh was given to me, a messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I be exalted above measure. Concerning this thing, I pleaded with the Lord three times that it might depart from me. And he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I will rather boast in my affirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasures in, in, in infirmities, in reproaches, in needs, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. 2 Corinthians 12, 7 through 10. The almighty, powerful, all-knowing God is always with us. Another favorite verse of mine is Hebrews 13, 5. Let your conduct be without covetousness. Be content with such things as you have, for he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. As Christians, we have been united, united with Christ, and his spirit lives within us. The word of God has many verses that show us how to walk through times of pain and adversity. It reminds us of his love, tells us about his purposes for trials, encourages us to endure, and strengthens us in the process. If there's anything that we can do to help you this evening, please come forward as we stand.